This is the VWR Scientific 1160S. It is a uh, recirculating chiller. I've got it currently set up for 20 degrees C. The adjustment for the temperature is here on this knob. You can see we're looking at the actual right now. If I press the knob, you can see that the decimal point is flashing and at this point I can change it up or down to whatever temperature I want within range. When you're done, just press the button again. This does have, does have a local lockout feature to access that if, to prevent somebody from changing the temperatures. You would press this and hold it for 10 seconds and it will every time you see it it will say LLO and then and not allow you to change it. To bring it back, the same process, press it for 10 seconds and it will come back uh, so that you can change the temperature to whatever you want. So it's a good little protection so nobody changes it inadvertently. Your over temperature protect is here and if it does happen to trip your reset is here. This is your indicator for heating and cooling. So we're at 20 degrees so right now the refrigeration is on and our heating is pulsing and it's doing that to be able to control at 20 degrees. We have, uh, since the spec for this is it's able to hold a 200 watt uh, load at 20 degrees C and that's what I have it dialed in for. I've got a load hooked up which is this here. Uh, so there is a load inside the chamber and normally your load will be coming from the hoses on the back but it's simulating the same thing. So as you can see it is holding the load here. The range of this is uh, minus 20 degrees to 100 degrees C. Uh, some literature I found does have it going up to 150. Uh, either way, I can't test it at the high or low uh, edge because of the uh, using medium uh, water as the medium. So I will be setting this up to go to 5 degrees, uh, which is of course not quite freezing. And then I will also set it up to go up to 80 degrees, uh, which I am able to do with water. Uh, uh, but as long as it does that in a reasonable amount of time, then it, there should be no problem reaching any other uh, temperature. Here the controller head looks like this. You have two pump speeds, high and low. Uh, your main power to this unit is here. There's also a power switch on the front, a soft switch. Uh, your your uh, power cords here. And this is where your load would normally be connected to, and I've just got a short loop connecting it. Uh, temporarily for uh, testing purposes so it can uh, recirculate. Okay, so I had changed the set point from 20 to 5 degrees and we've now reached that. This is the actual and you can see that both are uh, controlling here. We have refrigeration is on and our heat is, is controlling. And so now I'm going to set it up for 80 degrees. And it's showing our actual has already started going up. Uh, this also unit also has three presets here. Um, so if you wanted to uh, enter your own presets that you normally go to, you could do that. So right now, set for 80. You can verify that by pushing the button. Pushing it again, it goes back to actual. And we're waiting to see until it controls. You can see our refrigeration here has turned off and our heat is on. Okay, so as you can see, we set it to 80. That's now reached that. We're showing our actual, and we're controlling. The refrigeration's not on at all, and as it needs to, it will control the heater. And then you can see it at the set point, it's flashing. So now I'm going to set it to ambient when it reaches back to uh, room temperature, and I'll show the inside of the tank. 
let it cool down. I've emptied the water out of the tank. And as you can see here, that's the condition of the tank. It's very nice and clean. And the pump and the heater coils and everything's back there.